Hey guys, so day three is on the verge of ending. Uh, it's been a really weird start. Uh, so I've been on the road for like seven hours. Uh, and uh, I've been able to run out of these seven hours only 540. So it means I've been resting for an hour and 20, which is quite a lot. And um, I started the day, I didn't feel right at all. Um, I couldn't run properly. Uh, my, uh, my legs didn't want to move forward. And I had to, uh, I run, tried running for an hour, had to stop regularly, nothing was working. Uh, and, you know, one of these days when nothing seems to go right, so I laid down for 20 minutes, I rested a little, then went on the way. And then, of course, my iPhone cable broke and uh, the system for the GoPro, uh, one side of it uh, got loose, so I couldn't use it and it took me twice to notice it. Then I had to reset the whole thing because, uh, as you can see, you're on my left right now. So I have the option of putting the GoPro on the left or on the right. And uh, it means I have to rebalance the whole bag, uh, what's inside and the batteries that I put on the outside pockets and I use for balancing exactly for that. And uh, I'll show you another time all the cables and all that stuff. So that's it. So today, uh, I was fighting myself and then on the way uh, the, I had a path that was going across the forest and I just stopped. Nothing, uh, you know, I couldn't cross, it was some uh, pine wood, so no way I could cross it. I, have, I had to go around, go through a field, cross the forest again and then get back to it. You'll see it on the road maps if you check it out. Uh, so that was not an easy thing, but the end got easier, I managed to get on my pace again. Uh, I don't know what exactly happened, but uh, I think it's lack of sleep. I slept six hours and a half, which is, I don't think it's enough. So this night I'm sleeping eight hours, whatever it takes. So that's it. So I start panicking at the idea of what's coming next. Uh, these 31 days of running, especially when I'm going to get in the mountains which is going to be in a few days and I don't feel ready for it. I don't think I'm ready for it. So the best thing I'm going to do about it is not think about it, which is exactly what trailers and marathoners do, is when you can't take it anymore, just think about the now, think about the moment. And today I've done it. I've done what I've set myself, the goal, which is 44 kilometers. And I'm glad it's over. And let's go to the next adventure see what happens tomorrow and where that leads us. So these are uh, right now there are clouds. Yesterday was really hot, today it was better. But uh, the thing is there is a storm coming, a probable storm and uh, you'll see on the run laps like everywhere around uh, people are gathering crops, e uh, tractors everywhere. Uh, it's, it's impressive. They are afraid they're gonna lose it and there's been another storm a week before and uh, you, see, uh, you see trees laying all around. And that's it. So thanks for your support today. That really helps and see you soon, I hope.